welcome back to my channel both new and old subscribers so today we're just gonna be downsizing some of my oversized skirts starting with this one the first skirt i'm gonna start by taking my waist measurement making sure there's enough space this specific skirt has a zipper so i'm going to go ahead and undo the seams of the zipper size so i can just take in the size to fit my waist from that end that way you're not sewing too much you're not doing too much non um, seaming so as you can tell i am taking down the seam just all the way down for the waistband to go off and as always when it comes to taking down seams it of course takes a while and i'm not gonna have a 30 minute seam taking down video in here for you so i finished taking down the seam and i also did the same for the waistband and removed it completely in the skirt and the waistband separately and then next thing i do is i'm going to go ahead and measure the waistband according to my size that's my waist size and then i'm going to cut it to size i'm of course going to leave about an inch or two maximum just for allowance because i'm going to sew over it so it turns out the fabric was harder than i expected so i had to cut it separately but i still make sure to keep the right size that i measured initially So I then placed the now um, reduced waistband over the skirts. I did not take any of the skirt fabric out. I just wanted to have that puffy feel. So I pinned it together like it was originally. Um, and then I went ahead and I ran the sewing machine over it, making sure to go the exact way as the skirt was originally before I undid the seams. You're doing running the machine over seams um, and it seems like a lot you have to be really careful because I've got the gathered skirts underneath and then I've got the folded waistband over it so if I was not careful I would have my needle snapping and that can be very annoying so I took my time and made sure it was gathered properly underneath while running the stitches over of course I folded the rough edges of the waistband inside so that I don't have it you know showing out and then when you wash it it's just going to fray and look very ugly i mean that's what you're supposed to do when you're sewing though of course do not forget to always do your back stitch and don't forget to do zigzag stitches where it is needed you know as zigzag as my bank account <laughs> So that is basically what I needed to do for this skirt and this is how the final look turned out. It fits perfectly, I can dress it anyhow I want, you can see I'm really happy about it. So that's part one. Number two, we have this skirt that I got from Shane I think and it did not fit, it looks horrible so yeah, let's fix it to look something like this. Okay, so for this skirt, initially I wanted to undo the seams, but to make my own life pretty easy, I stretched this fabric to make sure that it was stretchy and then I took another skirt of mine, which was also stretchy as well, placed it on it and made sure that made sure that I had folded in all the sides that I needed to. So I went ahead and placed it on the new skirt, pinned them together and then I'm going to go ahead and cut them from the sides. You can see I've got my scissors ready and I'm cutting it from the ends, starting from the bottom and you can also tell that I'm leaving a bit of allowance because I'm going to sew it and even though both fabrics are stretchy, it's better to always leave more room where you can downsize as compared to leaving very little room and you have to upsize after you've sewn everything because that can be as again annoying and you know when you're sewing you're tired and you don't want to have to redo things all over again. You can tell I did not cut all the way to the waistband because I initially wanted to undo the seams. That is my first idea when I want to downsize anything to take the waist out of it and then do everything else and then put the waist back on. But I found this fabric to be quite stretchy where I could still cut out the waistband and you know still have enough fabric to work with. So you can tell I decided against cutting the, the waistband. I mean against undoing the seam and just went ahead and cut the waistband according to size that way I can just sew over the entire thing and make my life easier. Of course what do I always say pin 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 your fabric down it just makes everything way easier. So now we have it paint down I'm going to go ahead and sew the ends I think at this point I had already run the machine over it. I don't know what I did but the back side of the skirt was longer I was gonna leave it there because it looked nice but I decided just to fold it over so that it is in place. So after I sewed the sides of the skirt, it turned out that the back side was longer so I went ahead and I cut the back side 
a bit of the extra fabric leaving enough so i could fold it over two times so i double folded it pinned it down and then i went ahead and ran the machine over it i didn't need to do a zigzag stitch since i was hiding the ends by double folding it anyway so that's what i did and this is what the final look looked like okay you can see the final look we went from a zero to a hundred real quick now going all the way from the girl that sits in the back to the class to go on the cut the class lights and we are not complaining about that okay okay i'm feeling myself but you can't really blame me it turned out good okay so yes this is the second skirt and this is how it turned out i actually really love this skirt and i love the color pattern i could like wear it with more a lot of things okay so let's go to part three so this skirt is a little weird because it has an elastic in the waist but there is a seam over it so you cannot pull it all the way through so what i decided to do was to go according to the lines that had been used to make the gathers just in the front side i didn't want to touch the back side of the dress i mean of the skirt at all so i went ahead to undo the seam of the two um parts that had been made in the skirt and then i so after i undid the seam i just pulled out the front part of the elastic on both sides and just pinned it together and then I sewed that part and then I'm gonna go ahead and then cut that part of the elastic so I just basically reduced the size of the elastic in it leaving me enough fabric just to have a fuller look but one that is fitting right now I'm not sure I'm gonna ever wear this skirt too I also don't remember where I got it from but hey we made it work okay and that's basically all I had to do for this skirt just pull the front of the elastic and downsize it and this is how it turned out like it and the back side of the skirt where there was a bit more fabric gathered still stay the same you can still tell the elastic is working fine and the skirt turned out pretty nice so this is how today's video went and this is how all the skirts turned out i really do like it i hope you liked today's video if you have any ideas of things you think i should diy just put it in the comments and don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts in the description box take care and love you all bye